Hello and welcome to Thrunton Woods, which is near Rothbury in Northumberland. Oh, it's much better walking downhill than uphill, I tell you. Definitely need to get some more lighter gear for these big hikes. This is a magical little spot here in the forest. Look, there's some nice pine cones and in the water there. There's the mushrooms, and then you kind of got a nice view going up into the forest. Nice little shot here, straight down the trees. ISO 100, F16, front to back to sharpness. Just focusing on this tree on the right. Nice little composition here, the heather in front and the white bark of that tree kind of standing out against the dark background. Focus on the tree trunk, maybe shallow depth of field to give the tree some separation from the background. top of the hill so uh, I'll spin you around and I'll kind of show you the composition okay so obviously your main foreground interest, foreground interest is the rock pile at the top of the hill and we'll just kind of take in a bit of the the moors and the woods and the Cheevit hills in the background yeah. got a three stop graduated filter on just because the skies bright with the white clouds focus is on the rock stack uh, just placed to the just right bottom third of the image with a rock in the left just kind of leading in and we're doing f16 to get a nice back to front sharpness ISO 100 So I've been meaning to come up here for the past three or four weeks because it's a fantastic place with all the heather and gloom at the end of August. Unfortunately, it's been pretty much raining every weekend in August. When it finally stops raining and I get to come here, the heather's pretty much past its best. Still, some nice pictures to be had. Well, the weather's took a turn for the worse, so it's absolutely freezing and I do need some light on these rocks to make it sing. Um, so I'm kind of just sitting around waiting for the light, really. So hopefully while I'm waiting for a bit of light, you can just see the hills in the distance there. I've got the 7200 on, F8, focusing on the hills. I'm going to try and do a panel just while that's catching the light.
So the sun's finally come out. Um, so I'm now spoiled for choice with compositions. It's kind of beautiful scenery everywhere. I'm just a bit good that the heather's kind of past its best. Kind of totally spoiled for you. I could just be snapping away forever. So here's into the composition with the kind of hill in the background where I took the first photograph with the stones on top, and then that kind of vista that's actually looking out towards the east coast. stopped here because I think this tree, if the light was better, fortunately thick clouds are rolled in, um, this tree could be quite a nice subject with just a few little red berries and the moss on it with the forest in the background. I suppose we'll have a go. Um, like I said with the bit of light on it would be good if the sun was shining but we'll see what we can get. Don't know if you can see, but there's a deer here that just jumps out at me. Whew. Well, what have I learned today? Well, I've learned that the heather on the exposed northern side of the hill uh, kind of flowers and dies before Heather on the less exposed southern side of the hill, so I'm about two weeks too late for those images. I've also learned that even though it's always freezing cold in the morning, it always seems to end up boiling in the afternoon. I've learned that I can't carry enough water to satisfy my thirst, and I'm always dying of thirst before I get back to the car. And I've had a lovely time to be honest, and just really enjoyed a nice walk out on a nice, what turned out to be a nice day. So till next time, bye for now.